Welcome, we're wondering, and welcome to Malaria Shop. Let's just give episode 15. Let's just start right away. Um, so, three, two, one, go. And I think it's gonna be a good episode. Um, see you beating here. So, kind of weird flying magic in the air. It's probably Croy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's Croy. Since he's trying to teach us a kind of new magic system, right? Yeah, it's a kind of ley line router. <laughs> so internet, yeah, ley line router, okay, yeah. Ley lines! Okay, so if you have this kind of app or something on your broom, you can fly with... Kroi Sensei! <laughs> it's like, yes, of course, I am the sound developer. Tensei! <laughs> yeah, the genius. They all have their own app, but yeah, have their own like iPad or something. <laughs> yeah. Diane is like, yes, he's like, no, this is not really magic. <laughs> That's good to see. You see, Diana is the one being like, no, <laughs> I don't like this. Um, you see the new intro again. The new opening is really good, right? It's. Uh, I love how it's foreshadowing. Yeah, I like that. I don't, I don't want the, I want the, uh, the opening to show you some stuff, right? Not explicit to tell you scenes. So this is a really good opening because it doesn't show you like. I was saying, it doesn't show you explicit scenes that this is gonna happen, but it shows you more about the story. Right? If you look at like, a complete opening, they can be that like, they can actually show you exactly that this is gonna happen. This is gonna happen. This is gonna happen. And that is horrible. There's two. They don't want to spoil it, right? This opening here is like okay. See Diana, let's see Aku going to each other. Aku is confident here. That they're going up to each other here like a kind of duel, right? Then they swap into Croy and Ursula, of course, or Shiny Sherrod, right? But you do grab their hands though, so we see that Diana and Aku are gonna be fast at the end. And then we see Lotte and the other guys helping uh, Aku, right? Even Diana at the end here helping her. And then we see Aku finally master the transformation thing. Ho somewhat. <laughs> As being a mouse, right? And clumsy. And then, of course, you see uh, Woodward Sensei again from the end, of course, grown up Ursula Croy. And we see Andrew, and some kind of. I am assuming he's gonna be in the game. And we'll see Andrew Frank and, and, his, and then his father in the, in the full, like, screen everyone there. But then, yeah, that's a good opening because it shows you. Oh, yeah, here we see, you see Croy in the. Nice. So Diana is researching her. <laughs> the Urs Ursula and Diana is like, yeah, let's research this. Yeah, she's reading about uh, Croy Sensor here in the, um, the yearbook, right, from her excellent student. Yeah, she was a great student, of course. Yeah, it teaches us conversion of Maddie is particularly innovative. <laughs> like, she was like you, Diana. <laughs> she was like, yeah, she's like, what's this like you? She was like, the, the, you, you, you kind of, you just, <laughs> yeah. And she, you're a very reserved person. Like Diana, okay. Oh, she's like, did you know her? No, no, she was going to be It's like, did you know her? So she's like, oh, she, everyone knew her. She was famous. <laughs> nice, nice. I'm just arriving the meal teacher, oh! <laughs> That's so demanding! I'm just this random woman, oh, I know nothing! Oh, nice! And they are just like, wait a minute, who's Ursula in the yearbook? <laughs> yeah, obviously Ursula knows that Troy is evil, right, pretty much. Yeah, and Akko is falling for her, oh my god, this is like, love is betrayal to the max! <laughs> a man that of course looks like tick stuff. Ah, very fast. The future is now. Swords are thing am I? Techno mad either, is not Okay, so the finding sensor here is some more newspapers. Yeah, she, ten years ago. With Chinese shares, that was like, was. Yeah, she had the highest grades, <laughs> golden ash prize, moonlight witch, she had everything. Yeah. So she during Sherry's time. You heard it right, 
Rivals! <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> I couldn't have said... They must have been Rivals! Oh. So you guys confirmed the new one, Primus. Yeah, it was Akku, so they were done. Shell that useless man, you guys, yes. Oh, nice, the distinct shell. They were like, no, no, Shell had the worst grace ever, but she was naturally good. <laughs> yeah. So she wasn't the rival, too. <laughs> the Croy? She's the worst grace ever. <laughs> yeah, she. Yeah, she was out doing entertaining stuff and ruining the repetition of Mandy. Oh, nice. They were like, no, 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 they weren't the rival, so they shared sucked. <laughs> Man, I can just compute just all the classroom. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's. The hates are now, they're like, I couldn't be more disappointed. I think that she would. <laughs> Turn into some kind of computer mission. Oh my god. <laughs> Crow used to be the best. Oh, Akka. <laughs> oh, he got the star. Sparkling eyes. Charlotte du Nord. The Nord, the Swedish. <laughs> yeah, she was good at attracting people, but she probably sucked though. Set to a natural talent. <laughs> You're the first person in the live share yet? Probably not to like her. Probably she hates her. Yeah, she loved the eye popping kind of magic where you like this. Whoa! Yeah, and that's why all of us hated her. <laughs> that is true. Choice like, I prefer people who are bound by old traditions. Yeah, that's true. So. Yeah, do you know what she is now? Or? I mean, she probably know. She probably knows Ulsla, right? Yeah, I wanna tank her. But shouldn't she? I think she probably knows Ulsla, right? If it's weird, it's just knows Ulsla. Oh yeah, of course. See so what trick her and get the shiny road. Yeah, yeah. I have the shiny road. You have the road. Yeah, obviously this is a plan from... Yeah, this doesn't sound good, Akko. She's gonna take the power or something from the Shining Road, clearly. Your Road of something, which I've never heard about before, yeah. <laughs> it's like... Shiny Road of... Yeah, obviously she's gonna whatever, ruin the road, clearly. Ursa says, fuck you. The new moon tower. And you see Ursa says... Screams on ice there. Yeah, no, she, she figured it out right away there. She brought the shiny road. That's <laughs> opening the door like very, very slowly here. You can only was opening there like, oh, okay. Okay, it's a lot of like archer statues that probably can become alive or something. <laughs> I was like, he's a kind of, yeah, one of her mix. Yeah, you will lead me there. You're a nice robot. This isn't just like a staircase. Like, how can you lead you? <laughs> you just follow the staircase. Like, I don't know how much you need that machine to tell you that you should go like this. <laughs> okay, this looks weird. Not the kind of giant door and yeah like this looks really really evil like you should see how evil this looks it's like okay you enter this door and it's like gigantic machines and it's kind of like sucking sapping <laughs> and then the station machine in the background the road probably protects itself from her probably yeah it probably hates her oh it's a flashback here of shared having it when they were kids yeah, probably won't touch it yet. Fucking 
this looks so new. It's like I said, this door is like, okay, it's like gigantic machines, right? And it's kind of weird, like draining, sapping kind of animation in the back, kind of like. Well, yeah, it's, it's a staff that's better with emotional energy, yeah. It's inherent talent and you're angry. Yeah, share your heart. Aku's heart now, yay! Yeah, you need to have good willpower. Classics. Yeah, you need to have you know high willpower. I have shown an anime. You need to have you need to have the will to be wanna be the best. Then you be the best. Yeah, classic. Uh, it's like the drill. You know, you have to believe in the drill. <laughs> That's better. Yeah. Why does Ursula fly there? <laughs> I think like she's running over here now when she somehow made Aku sleep with some kind of app. <laughs> There's some good magic, like in my magic t telephone, and like, he's like, oh yeah, you sleep now. Okay, she's giving a flower at Aku's head. Probably reading her memory or something. <laughs> oh, I have seen Aku's a kid there running in a broom and probably falling soon. <laughs> yeah, she's falling because she can't fly, falling some more. Let's try to climb up. Predictability zero. Objectivity zero. It's like zero and everything. Traits, impulsive, clumsy, pushy, carefree. Yeah. All the horrible, uh, <laughs> horrible personality traits she has. That's what makes her a like, good witch, right? The shiny robe. But yeah, Shiny was this plot armor thing. Oh, that's alarm showing Ursula. It looks really pissed off. She's like, so you come, Sherry. So clearly she knows that Yeah, I mean, obviously she knows. Oh, so you arrived. She looks pissed off. <laughs> yeah, no, I knew it. I knew it. Not like Archer uh, stuff are attacking uh, Chariot. Yeah, so Troy is very evil. Clearly very evil. So to kill <laughs> Chariot here at the way. Oh nice, I kicked in the face, and this is way more active, action packed. See, I knew as soon as I have the real adversaries of the show, uh, Croy, then we have a lot more action packed uh, anime, suddenly. Okay, laser beam through the ice. Some serious defense forces here. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> it's like a coming of hard level. Oh, her hair with all red too is fighting now, yeah, so it's losing her disguise. And she coming out with back. Nice. Okay, so it's like some kind of lion and uh, <laughs> spider spawns too. It's like a manticore, it's a manticore, okay. Yeah. And <laughs> shout this piece kicking them, okay, yeah. She's re suddenly shout is really really bad at it. This is this is, this is a super badass here. Okay, grabbing the sword from the statue and fighting with it. Okay, she's she's yeah she is going the, the mile here. Oh, this is easily the best action packed episode so far in the in the anime. Okay, comes was weird. Okay, they're machine guns or something. <laughs> what? <laughs> she's definitely some really good defenses here. Let's see that doors earlier. <laughs> okay, so kind of tentacles. Yeah, pulling her in. Landing on her head. Looking even angrier. Oh, yeah, not like a fight here. Not like <laughs> <laughs> this angry image of Troy, uh, of Sarah in the background. Troy. Okay, so how about the power weekend for 10 years? That's the staff, maybe? Yeah, click some data. 
<laughs> yes, it's all about the data, the computer is a computer girl. It's like, I collect your data, yes! Uh, collect her memory, yes. Well, it's just a magic. Yeah, as if yourself. Yeah, hardly a shadow of former self. Yeah, hiding as some kind of weird woman, sort of being this in the front figure. Yeah, you're probably powerless to me. Yes, <laughs> classic even like, oh, you're so weak. You cannot touch me, Ursula. You cannot even do anything to me. Okay, if, if I can have a shine again, so yes, obviously shiny Sherry had lost her shine in the in the backstory. That is clear. That is very clear, right? She she lost her. Suddenly she's back with blue hair. Um, Tessa <laughs> comes close to classic evil characters like I can't let you leave because I am so much stronger anyway. <laughs> I don't I don't care. Classic game, it's like, ah, oh, okay, you can go away, uh, I will beat the next time as well. Yeah, reconstruction magic. Guess we tell her now then. We tell her now. Yeah, the shiny road. Road of emotions. Yeah, Grand Triskelion. Because only the nine old witches knows everything, okay. The founder of the school, and, and Diana is still researching this. Yeah, Diana is still researching the whole thing, right? But I guess Diana will, will learn it by herself by reading the old books that she got from the uh, hidden library. And uh, Ursula is gonna tell Lacko instead, so she'll also know. Yeah. Indra's brothers. It's really cool, we had a comment on my last video that really commented on Idris in, yeah. It's a nice, nice, nice for sure. Okay, three magic things, something? Red, blue and green. Okay, it's nicely animated now, yeah. It changed kind of the animation style now when it's showing this thing. Uh, it's gonna fire the dragon, but well, maybe created the world. Stone Edge. Uh, yeah, okay. But how does this have to, Okay. Yeah, those are the ley lines now, then. Like the magic traces from the original powers of the spirits and Idrasil and so on. Man, the silly with Arcturus. Yeah, with Arcus on 3 off, 3 out of 7. I guess Shining Shadow failed probably, because she can't, she can't shine anymore in the, the Luna script. She probably failed, she probably couldn't. But she has them on her like spell cards, <laughs> game cards. Yeah, so she, she has like she has like published it into the real world. It's like I put them on this on this trading card game, <laughs> so you can learn it as a kid. Yeah, you're around three. Or? Yeah, she did uh, the arrow. Yeah. 
So flashback here of the yeah, let's see falling here. Strive your hardest place. It's all about like emotion. <laughs> Strive your hardest place and like try to be the best. <laughs> That's what they were saying. Yeah, it's all about failing and losing such a dream but never giving up, right? It's all about being Akko. It's a perfect person to have the role, of course. It's perfect main character thing to have, yeah. Yeah, she says it's been an... Yeah, she fought... Uh... Woodward uh, monster form. It's like a sickle form of the word. Okay, great episode so far, but now they're going into my flashback here because they are showing flashback every time. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they, they're like doing the flashback here. Everything it makes so it makes sense, but it's like uh, if it's not, if it's not a manga now, they would do you know do the flashback of every scene. Um, just like a minute, minute or so there of his flashbacks. Hmm. Yeah, what do you mean? Akka looks really stunned here, of course. Ursula is still not telling her that she is shining chariot, though. Okay, she's so, okay, so, she just doesn't know the last one. Then. It could be something that Diane, I, I appreciate Diane being, uh, Diane being the one that like, unlocks the last one. Then. Understanding the last seal. She's the genius, right? She, she can figure out. She's reading the books about this the nine of witches and like figuring out the actual. Yeah, that's for sure. for the words. That's when disappeared. She doesn't. She, she doesn't get it. Akko, come on, Akko. <laughs> I know I'll meet her if I go for the words, but yeah, that that doesn't really. <laughs> oh god, Akko. She looks super excited, of course, as always. I will find them all. Yeah, but I can definitely see, I can definitely see um, uh, Diane being the key to that easily. She is. I think this episode here can show that Diane is. Uh, yeah, she she's she's learning the this story right that we see that uh, Ursula is telling Echo. Before she started telling her, we saw that uh, Diana was like reading a book, right? One of the books she's gained from having those keys to the old libraries. So she likely learned kind of much the same thing, right? About Yggdrasil and the Lion Light Trees and these three spirits and everything. She probably learned of that from reading it, right? And as she actually is good at reading stuff like the old dragon, like the draconic language and so on, she will likely be the one that actually can translate, right? The last seventh word would be like, okay, I read the book here so I can translate for you guys. This is what you should say. <laughs> she probably will be able to do it, right? I can definitely see that, that she is going to be the last one helping them to unlock it. But it definitely shows that uh, Shashar failed them. She, didn't, she, didn't, she never actually did revive the whole uh, Triskelon and she like, so, somewhat lost her uh, shine. <laughs> she lost her shine somehow. Maybe she needs to have the shine shared. I don't know, yeah, but she definitely lost her shine, right? Uh, clearly, that is very clear, and um, but otherwise, yeah, I mean, otherwise a great episode. Um, definitely cool to see the whole uh, shiny chariot part. She's first fighting. Um, the episode went way more action than we've seen earlier. Way more brutal to it. Like really, it felt more. Uh, I mean, obviously, was she was gonna die. Obviously, she was she was gonna survive, but it felt. Um, uh, like you had more, uh, let's say more more on stake, right? Not not this kind of like yeah, Akko is fighting this random mech dragon that probably won't kill her because it's some kind of 
joke in it, right? It's more like, okay, this is an actual like, an evil person fighting a good person, right? It's actually trying to kill her. Not all the times when they're fighting, it's like, whatever, it's just some random ghost or, you know, something. But this is an actual... I would say this was the first actual battle, right? On life and death, yeah, a real battle. Uh, so they definitely changed up a little bit. And it looked more, a lot more horror, yeah. Um, in the end, though, she was like, I'm super evil, and you can't beat me! I just leave now! <laughs> in the end, I was like, okay. Whatever, yeah, I'm gonna re a few times and uh, do, do the full review. So, see you guys shortly. Have a great day.